Good morning, everybody. My name is Darlene, and I have Parkinson's. I'm failing miserably. I'm supposed to be learning how to do things better where I'm not getting in people's way, where I'm not uh, causing more problems for people. But my daughter is having a hard time with me for caregiving because I'm too demanding. I don't mean to be, but I can't help it. My whole life I've wanted to do things the right way and I can't make myself want to do them any different. But now I can't do them myself. So when I can't do things myself and I have to turn it over to Claudine or Bill to do, I have to accept that uh, the way they're doing it is the way it's going to be done. I can't expect them to do it my way. So, she might think it's stupid, but it's just the way it is for me. I'm sorry I'm crying. I shouldn't be crying. But I'm, because I try to keep this channel very positive, but I also said I would be very real here. And that's how I'm feeling right now. So... I'm feeling like um, it doesn't matter what I do, I'm not going to do it right. And I am trying. I really am. So, like, my pills changed. Uh, when I take them and whatnot changed, and I can't keep it straight in my head. I just can't keep it straight. So, I wanted her to write it down on a whiteboard for me so I could take a look at it. And I could see it whenever I wanted it. And she thinks it's stupid. And uh, she just wrote it down on a piece of paper for me. Yes, I can see it. It's on a piece of paper. But it's just... I just envisioned in my mind I'd have a little whiteboard hanging here and it would be just... I don't know what I thought. I don't know what I thought. I thought that it wasn't a big deal. It was at dollar twenty-five at the dollar store to buy a whiteboard. And just do it. But anyway... I guess I'm being unreasonable at times. So when I um, when I want to cook something and I can't do it, I have to expect that she's gonna cook what she wants, not what I want. I can't say to her, it's not a restaurant, I can't say to her, let's have such and such. You know, like she has to be the one that's feeling like doing the cooking. When I was cooking for the family, I didn't consult everybody. I just made the decision and did it. So she, that's what she's doing. And I have to learn to accept that. I don't know why I'm having such a hard time with it. I'm having a hard time with doing nothing. I'm having a hard time with not being able to do the things that I want to do. So, or being told to wait, like cutting my fingernails can't cut my fingernails when I'm animated because my hands are flying all over the place. So I have to wait till they're still and then when I have a still moment, if she's busy doing something, she's not going to stop what she's doing to come and do my nails and then the time passes. And uh, then I'll say to her later at night, can you do my nails? And she'll say, well, we'll do them tomorrow. And it just seems to me like I do a lot of waiting for tomorrow. But I'm not really. I just... That's just how it feels to me. So, it's not an easy job being a caretaker. I know that. I know, I know that. But, I try to make it easier on her, but I can't help it sometimes. Anyway, um, uh, what did I do today? I just sort of tidied this area up a little bit. So I do. Now I organize and then I reorganize and I reorganize. But anyway, I did that, and then I had her bring in a a bin so I can clean out my wardrobe. And uh, Hannah came over this morning to help me get dressed and showered and whatnot. So that was good. And Bill has daycare tomorrow, so he'll be at daycare. I have hurt my arm badly somehow. Not somehow. The two falls that I had about two weeks ago. The first one I did some damage. I fell right here. And between these things here, I fell right here. And I did some damage to it, but I thought it was okay. 
and then I fell later on just across the way over Finn's chair and uh, I knew that I had hurt it then but I don't think anything's broken but I think I might have tore a muscle or something and it's been very very sore so she's gonna phone the doctor and we're gonna see if I can get an x-ray but again Bill's got daycare tomorrow and she's got dental surgery on Friday so it'll be a while before I can get into the doctors and and then I have to go and do a a test or whatever so who knows it'll be better by the time I get there so that'll be the hope anyway and then on the 11th of January I have to go and see about this uh, pump thing which is worrisome I, I'm hoping for the best for it but it's still kind of scary and um, it's hard to imagine that I, I'm going to be able to do it because I can't do things with my hands so I have to have uh, Claudine or my caregiver Hannah do it and it's hard when you know you have to depend on somebody else to do those things so but I do have to depend on them so and then I haven't been eating right so I gotta start eating right I've been eating a lot of goodies and not so much my meals so I have to start eating my meals I got my meal in front of me I got leftover casserole tonight from Christmas dinner it's delicious Absolutely delicious. Mm -hmm. Absolutely delicious. Anyway. And we had ice cream for dessert for Christmas dinner, so I've been eating. Uh, is it butter pecan? Butter pecan, I think. That's been so good. <laughs> so good. But um, I want to. I always like to get my decorations down right after Christmas and. By, by the first of the year for sure. And Claudine likes to keep them up a little bit longer than that. So I said to her, well, if I can just take down my little area here, then the others can stay up as long as she wants. So anyway, um, up in my room, I've got things organized enough that I can maybe think about putting my puzzle board up over there. Don't know, I was wanting to put it down here, but I'm not sure. If I'm going to put it down here or not. We have to wait till we get the tree out of here and stuff and we organize it around and see whether whether I have room down here or not. Because <laughs> for Christmas I got a puzzle board which is like a, it's on a Lazy Susan and then it's got a board on it. And it's got four drawers on each, like one drawer on each side. You can put puzzle pieces in to organize them and then you can start building your puzzle on it and then if you're not finished well who would be finished in one day you wouldn't be but anyway when you're not finished with it you can just cover it up and it keeps it safe from being disturbed or having the pieces lost so i'm looking forward to doing that and then i got uh, i got a gift card from giant tiger from uh, subscriber which i really appreciated oh my gosh I was gonna spend it before Christmas and then I thought, no, I'm gonna wait till after Christmas and go there and then Bill bought me one too. So I have two gift cards from Giant Tiger. So I'll be able to get things organized. I'll be able to maybe pick up a new pair of sneakers as well. I would like to get a new pair of sneakers or a pair of dress shoes. I wore my new dress on Christmas day and I didn't have any nice shoes. So I had to wear it with big slippers. But, um, it's all right. And so I'm just rambling now. Shouldn't be rambling. All right, so let me see what I'm going to do tomorrow. What am I going to do tomorrow? Oh, I want to show you my steampunk stuff here. Oh, dear. Yes, man, I dropped my Kleenex. Okay, so right, I'm going to turn you around here so that you can see my steampunk stuff. Two things I already had, and one was new. So, and then Ivy gave me a beautiful little turtle. So I'm going to show you here. Now I'm going to turn you around here. Let me flip the camera here. Let's see if I can do this here. See, I'm having trouble with all of these things. Now we're going to come around here like this. All right, okay. Oh, here we are right there. And it's bringing us down here. Let's see, let's tip it this way. Which way? This way? This way? Yeah. Bring it down. All right, so here's my three pieces of steampunk. I have this one here. I'm gonna hold it up. 
I can just get it behind there. Have a hold of it. All right, so here. That's a, it's a heart, and it's got the steampunk gears on it. It also has, let me just put this around here. Okay, it also has my, uh, I like uh, things that have hold, like holders in the second. So this one here's got, it's a heart, but it's got a, a vacant space so I can put stuff in there. I got this from Cal and Ashley the first Christmas I was here. They knew I loved the steampunk stuff, so they gave me that one. And then this one here was bought for the, I think I've showed it before, but we bought it for the landing. We bought it for the landing, so here. The skull there. Right, and that's all kinds of things are now. Claudine for Christmas bought me this turtle that's steampunk, so. Let's bring this out here. Now I call him Stanley. Stanley is because he's uh, Stanley Pipes. All right, so I'm gonna put you around here again. I'm not making you dizzy here, sorry. So here we are, now let's go here. Bring this down here. Right, so here we are with Stanley. Down the Hold him steady so you can see. So look at it. Look at Stanley. Isn't that amazing? That is just amazing. It has all these things down there. If these were working gears, this would be worth a fortune. It's still worth a pretty penny, but it has everything about it that I like. It has turtles. Name this is Stanley because it's Stanley Pipes. It has steampunk. And then look at this. Let's take his shell off. Oh, we got a, a secret compartment there. Oh, I just love that. Really love that. So this is Claudine gave me this Stanley here. And I love it. And then I'm gonna so I've got my little steampunk section here. And then I'm going to show you what Ivy gave me. It's beautiful. It's so beautiful. Is this up here? Gosh, I'm having troubles here. I'm sorry. I'm having a bad, very bad day. I wasn't having a bad day to start with, but it has turned into one. See this goes up here. What I do with my Kleenex is still under. Okay, let's get this back. Oh Lord, I can't do that. Okay, I dropped his shell. I have to pick it up. So I'm gonna pause you for a minute while I pick up your shell. Okay, I'll be right back. Here we go. This is the, the turtle that Ivy gave me. This is Amber here. So I'm gonna bring her up. Color amber because of the color of her fins and her head. And uh, she's crystal on the rest. Let's see, I'm gonna see if I can hold her like this too. I don't wanna drop her, so I'll put her down here and then I, when I'm not holding her, I can show you better. I'm very afraid of dropping her. So here we go. Let's give her. No, and there she is right there. Turn this off there. Can you see her? Oh no, let's turn this off too. Let's see if I can. can you see her there? I'm not sure. I don't think you can. Let's see. Let's bring you in here. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. There you go, there. There she is. Isn't she beautiful? She is so beautiful. Alright, so that's Amber. And so and that's what I got for Christmas, and I loved every bit of it. And then from Kel Nashley and the kids, I got a beautiful. Put the sleep back on here. Put the sleep back on. Yeah. So up here, let's see where you So where are we gonna go up here like this? Uh, right there. I'm just gonna sit there. A little bit higher up. A little higher up there. All right, so you see the handprints there? Up here? And we got uh, the big blue one is Cal, and the green one next, is, or the, the purple one next is Ashley, and then the green one is Finn, and the little pink one is Aurora. And it says the McFates 2023, so 
that's really nice to have that so I got their handprints I took uh, pictures of their hands for a project that I did one other time and I I love that pictures of the pictures of their hands so anyway I've got that there and uh, I'm going to tonight I'm going to uh, go up and organize something up in my room and then I'll be back here tomorrow to get this finished so but I have to do things slowly and take my time at them because I'm not very fast at things and uh, I have to just expect that it's going to take time so. all right I'm going to let you go for now thank you all for coming if you have any questions for us on our question and answer period that's going to be coming up please write them down I've got a list going and uh, we're going to do that pretty soon here so we'll talk to y'all tomorrow okay bye bye Yeah.